Hello, and welcome to page 63 of volume 2 of my graphic novel of comic strips titled Bound Earth. I was wondering what I was going to talk about during this video um, for most of the week, and I think it hit me sometime in the middle of the night on Friday or Saturday that Communication is a major part of any relationship, whether it's friendship or whether it's romantic or in the situation where these robots are in, where uh, they have to accomplish something, even if it's just to survive. Um, communication As complex as we make it as people, and as difficult as we sometimes make it through our own actions or inactions, it goes across species. It, uh, insects communicate with each other, and they have to do it in order to be able to, to keep going. And so sometimes I think that we as humans get it in our heads that it's best not to talk or it's best not to communicate uh, we start to, to doubt what we think in our head needs to be said out loud or we question whether what we're trying to say needs to be said and I think that as long as everybody understands that you're not trying to personally attack everybody, um, the more communication, the better, the more understanding you have. What we have over animals is the ability to understand complex thoughts and emotions. And we as people need to be able to express these and then as people we should always have at least one safe person we can express maybe not the most pleasant complex thoughts or emotions so these robots they're they're starting the next leg of their journey. They've they've got uh, Lyft in charge because he can he seems to be able to handle himself with the the creatures and the surroundings and the environment. And so they've all allowed themselves to be led by him. And so they're trying to figure out what's next. They're trying to talk out loud about what uh, is coming next, who's doing the work, who's doing what, uh, what the next plan is going to be. And it seems like a very uh, boring page. It would be a lot of talking heads. But instead, I decided to do uh, have them make their big plans for themselves in an even bigger environment just to point out how small they are considering the grand scheme of things. Subconsciously, that's probably what I was really trying to say when I did this page. That's probably what I was really going to talk about. No matter how big we think our plans are, there's always a much bigger universe out there in which our plans seem like insignificant specks. Think about that for a minute. NASA, last week or last month, watched two black holes collide.
now, thanks to, you know, the speed of light and all that, it happened a long time ago, but we're just now seeing it. And it makes everything seem so insignificant and so small compared. I stubbed my toe. I ran out of gas. Gas prices went up. Gas prices went down. The cost of food is wonky. Two black holes the size of the Milky Way collided. I can't even picture that. The size is just inconceivable. And so I put these robots discussing their big plans and having their little problems and their big problems and, and everything that is making up their world happen within a much larger world. And so that's why I put the really large dinosaur in the background who's just minding his own business. It's a force of nature that just happens and it's going on whether these robots do whatever or not. And sometimes it's good to remember that even with what we think are big problems, the universe is still going on, the, the galaxy is still turning. And while it's not entirely meaningless, it, it's meaningful to you, but it's not to the universe. The fate of the universe does not hinge on the fact that you got a stain on your shirt. That kind of deal. Now, if you start finding infinity stones lying around, then yeah, the, the fate of the universe will hang in the balance. We just passed the part of the video where there's music credits at the bottom of the screen. Check out those people. They make good music. Uh, listen to a few of their other songs. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please consider joining us on at patreon.com slash Dunlap. Really like to see you there. There's more artwork. There's, there's videos. There's pictures of artwork that I do during the week. And uh, all the money goes to, to making more artwork, buying more supplies. Thank you very much for watching. I'd like to thank Joe for his continued support. Really appreciate it. I'm trying to be a good steward of the money. Um, I think that's about all I have to say. So I'm going to say see you next week, and I hope you have a good one. All right. Have fun.